Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve this problem. We will solve this problem by using Euler asymptotic formula. At first, what is Euler asymptotic formula? If x greater than or equal to 1, then sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n equal to log x plus c plus big O of 1 by x. The second formula is sum over n less than or equal to x 1 by n power s equal to x power 1 minus s by 1 minus s plus g tau of s plus big O of x power minus s for s greater than 0 and s not equal to 1. And third formula is sum over n greater than x 1 by n power s equal to big O of x power 1 minus s if s greater than 1. The fourth one is sum over n less than or equal to x n power alpha equal to x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 plus big O of x power alpha if alpha greater than or equal to 0. Let's solve this. At first, consider sum over n less than or equal to x sigma 1 of n equal to equal to sum over n less than or equal to x this sigma function denote the sum of devices of n so i can write this as sum of q divides n into q we all know that if a divides b then we can write b as b equal to some product of a so i get ax like that here i have q divides n so i can write this as n equal to some term, some any integer into q. I am taking that integer as d. So, I get sum over n less than or equal to x sum over n equal to q d into q. Next, I am going to replace this n by q d. I get sum of q d less than or equal to x into q. We all know that q d is less than or equal to x. Then, clearly d must be less than or equal to x. And we can write this q as q is less than or equal to x by d, right? So, now I am going to split this summation into two terms, which is equal to sum over d less than or equal to x into sum over q is less than or equal to x by d into q, which is equal to by using the Euler asymptotic formula here, this term, right? So, sum of uh, this term, fourth formula, sum of n less than or equal to x, n power alpha equal to x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 plus big O of x power alpha. By using this fourth formula, I get sum over d less than or equal to x, x by d the whole power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus big O of x by d. Since fourth, which is equal to, I am going to taking the summation inside, I get sum of d less than or equal to x, x by d the whole square divided by 2 plus sum of d less than or equal to x, big O of x by d. At next, I am going to taking outside x square by 2. I get x square by 2 into sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d the whole square that is 1 by d square plus I am going to take the big O function outside. So, I get some big O of sum of d less than or equal to x x by d. At next keep this term as it is that is x square by 2 sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d square is equal plus big O of here I am taking x outside so I get x into sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d. Now we can use Euler asymptotic formula that is which is equal to x square by 2 into c here, sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d square. So, we can use this formula, right? So, by using second formula, I get x power 1 minus, here s is 2. So, 1 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 2 plus g of 2 
plus big O of x power minus 2 plus big O of x into for this term I am going to use this formula by using 1 I get x into log x plus c plus big O of 1 by x okay next we will multiply this x square by 2 inside we get x square by 2 into x power minus 1 by minus 1 plus x square by 2 into g of 2 plus x square by 2 into big O of x power minus 2 plus big O of x log x plus big O of x into c that is some function into constant that is x plus big O of x big O of 1 by x. Already I taught you that big O function we use the big O function to reduce the functions. So here the largest big O function is big O of x log x. So the other big O functions are neglected terms. So I get x square by 2 g of 2 plus big O of x log x. The other terms are come inside this or they are neglected. Hence the proof. Next we will solve this problem. This problem is also similar to the previous one. That is consider sum of n less than or equal to x sigma alpha of n equal to. I already told you that that sigma function denote the sum of devices of n. So I can write this as sum of n q divides n q power alpha sum of devices of n right here sigma alpha of n so we get q power alpha which is equal to sum of n less than or equal to x here q divides n so we can write this n as some product of q that is i am taking n equal to q into d q power alpha next i am going to replace this n by q d so i get sum of qd less than or equal to x q power alpha this sum of n less than or equal to x sigma alpha of n equal to i already told you that if qd less than or equal to x which implies d is less than or equal to x and we can write q as less than or equal to x by d by this we get sum of d less than or equal to x into sum of q less than or equal to x by d into q power alpha. Next we can apply Euler's asymptotic formula. Here we have four formula. For this we can use a fourth formula right. So I get sum of d less than or equal to x into x power x by d that is here x is replaced by x by d so x by d the whole power alpha plus 1 divided by alpha plus 1 plus big go of x by d the whole power alpha next multiply the summation into inside we get sum of d less than or equal to x x by d the whole power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 plus sum of d less than or equal to x big O of x by d the whole power alpha. Now I am going to take the x by x terms outside. So I get x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 outside and sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d power alpha plus 1 plus I am taking the big O function outside and the x term outside. So, I get x power alpha into sum of d less than or equal to x 1 by d power alpha. So, now we can use the Euler asymptotic formula. For this term, we can use um, this one, second formula. 
and the, for this term we can use this is also the uh, similar to the second one so for this terms we use the second formula that's why we get which is equal to x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 into x power x power 1 minus alpha minus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha minus 1 plus g of here s is alpha plus 1 right so g of alpha plus 1 plus big O of x power minus of alpha plus 1 plus big O of x power alpha into here also here s is equal to alpha so x power 1 minus alpha divided by 1 minus alpha plus g of alpha plus big O of x power minus alpha which is equal to let's multiply this terms inside we get x power alpha plus 1 divided by alpha plus 1 into here 1 and 1 get cancelled so x power minus alpha by minus alpha plus x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 into g of alpha plus 1 plus x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 into big O of x power minus of alpha plus 1 plus big O of x power alpha into x power 1 minus alpha by 1 minus alpha plus big O of x power alpha into g of alpha plus big O of x power alpha into big O of x power minus alpha. Simplifying this, we get x power alpha plus 1 by bases are same. So, we can add the powers x power alpha plus 1 minus alpha that is x, x by minus x by alpha into alpha plus 1 plus x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 into g of alpha plus 1 plus here the x power alpha plus 1 term come inside the big O function we get big O of 1 right so big O of 1 divided by alpha plus 1 that's alpha plus 1 is a constant term so we can neglect this also plus big O of the bases are same so we can add the powers we get x power 1 that is big O of x by 1 minus alpha. The 1 minus alpha is a constant term. So big O function inside the big O function the constant terms are neglected. That is big O of x plus big O of x power alpha. This g of alpha is also a constant function. So this g of alpha come inside the big O function. We get big O of x power alpha plus big O of this big O of x power alpha in come inside then we get big O of 1. Now you can see this x term and big O functions are neglected terms. So we get x power alpha plus 1 divided by alpha plus 1 g of alpha plus 1 plus big O of x plus big O of x power alpha which is equal to x power alpha plus 1 by alpha plus 1 g of alpha plus 1 plus in a question they given that beta is equal to maximum of 1 comma alpha here big O of x power 1 plus big O of x power alpha so for this we replace big O of x power beta where beta equal to maximum of 1 comma alpha Hence the proof.